Good morning, guys. Wow, it is early. It is 5.23. I'm boiling up some eggs. I'm finishing those because I want them to be kind of like jammy eggs. I have my meal prep over here. I think I'm fully ready after these eggs finish, but I have kind of a long day. I have four legs today. I fly to Boston, Philadelphia, Philadelphia back to Boston, Boston to New York. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna be so tired. New York to New Orleans. Get to New Orleans around four. So it's gonna be a bit of a day, but I have a 24 hour in New Orleans. This is my second New Orleans trip of the month. And I am working this trip with my friend Suzanne. She is the one that was in the Santa Fe, Taos, New Mexico video. I'm super excited about this trip. I'm happy to be going back to New Orleans with it out it being like, a party kind of trip. Definitely just a more chill layover type trip. Oh, I forgot. I did I did have a layover there a couple weeks ago and I have a vlog about that. Guys, my name is Vera. For those of you who are new here, I run a wellness focused flight attendant vlog, travel vlog. I'll show y'all the other stuff I'm bringing with me other than just the egg. So I have Half of an avocado, some Applegate turkey slices. This is like the only real brand of um, lunch meat that I'll use because I trust this brand more. I have my fruit bowl. Y'all know I love my fruit bowl. It's so dark in here because it's so early, but this has blueberries, pomegranate seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, cacao nibs, and blackberries. And then I'm bringing three shots with me. I have ginger, turmeric shot, and the acerola shot. I don't know why my camera's not focusing on literally anything, but I'm gonna put all of this in my lunch bag. I'm bringing this, I'm really hoping I don't need it, this Celsius. If you watched my last uploaded vlog, you know that I got like no sleep the night before last, and then last night, I got like six hours, maybe seven hours, like six and a half hours of sleep last night. So I haven't been getting adequate sleep. I literally got two hours of sleep the night before last. So it's not like I recovered from that. So I'm really trying to, I don't know, I was trying to like give up coffee this week, but it didn't help that I had a 17 hour duty day, 4.50 a.m. van time show. Now I have a 4.40 wake up call today. It's just like boom, 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 can't, can't catch a break, but whatever. I'm not gonna complain anymore. And I will see you guys in the air. I'm in New Orleans. Clearly I'm changed out of my uniform. I am going to get oysters, drinks, and dinner with Sue's. I am in a very kind of, I don't know, I'm wearing a leather blazer with this kind of like corset type top. Spanx leather leggings and these Aloha shoes that I ordered last summer. Pillow Talk Charlotte Tril 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 Tilbury is on my lips. I'm using her like red eyeliner. I forgot the name of it. Walk of no shame. And then refy eyebrow stuff. That's all you really need to know. Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. A lot of people ask what my lip color is a lot. So I need to make more of a habit of saying what my lip color is. And then I just have this little leather Madewell clutch. And then my obnoxious phone case. And we're off. This is my favorite mirror to selfie in because it has like a natural filter all on its own. Good morning, my eyes are so bloodshot and I just ran out of eye, drop, eye drops today. But all dressed. Last night was fun, we didn't get back late. We got back at like 11 something maybe. It wasn't too late. Went to Seaworthy, Elysium Bar. Tried to get crawfish at Three Legged Dog. They, they were like, oh, we've been out. Dude, the place is like, I feel like so many people know about it now. When I first started going was six years ago, 
and it was late 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 at night and they still had a ton of crawfish and they were like oh no now it's like gone the second we bring it out so it's also way more expensive than it used to be it used to be ten dollars and now i heard i think i saw on yelp that it's like 25 dollars a box <laughs> it's gone up 250 percent um anyway whew. We're gonna go over to Willa Jean for like breakfast and then we're gonna pick up our bikes and then we are gonna ride around and have fun. Looks a little chilly out this morning, but it's my view by the way. I've got the bridge. I feel like this was the room I was in the other day. Oh yeah, and I'm just wearing, I, I haven't like gotten new clothes in a while so I don't even share what I'm <laughs> wearing anymore. Um, but I am going to get more Aritzia clothes soon. I'm going to save my little Aritzia shopping spree for when I go to Chicago because I have a um, Chicago layover coming up and I really like the Aritzia in their city. It smells like hot wings in here. obviously ready for work. I had such a good day today. Susan and I, we went to Audubon Park, we went to Raw Republic, we went to Vibrant Market, we went to, oh my God, the matchas at both were so good. Willa Jean for breakfast, Turkey and the Wolf for lunch to go. Oh my God, I have so many cool things to share, but I have to walk out of the door soon. But quickly, we happened across two um, filming productions like one was a movie set one was a TV show set the TV show was called the estate but they said that some they were like filming the pilot and so someone hasn't bought the show yet but it was starring Tony Collette and Anna Ferris, and it was being filmed at the house where American Horror Story Coven was filmed so I, we were like oh what's that we like saw the film stuff and then um, Suzanne asked them what they were filming and then when we were at Turkey and the Wolf we this woman came up with like all these mics and like gear and she was like don't mind me um if it's okay with y'all we're just kind of filming or we're recording different things to uh put in a podcast where with npr and we're interviewing whoever the guy is that owns turkey and the wolf or like the chef or whatever so we were like oh cool so they like recorded us ordering our food that was cool so i'm gonna look for that podcast and see if my voice is in it and then we happened to pot across another movie set and or a movie set another filming set and we were like oh what's this for and he said the name of the movie but i missed it but it's basically supposed to be like some vampire flick with nicholas holt nicholas cage and he couldn't remember the name of the girl that's starring in it but he says she's from like a marvel movie or something i don't remember but we were like no way that's so cool so um all of that was really cool. Food was amazing. I just ate some french fries, but I haven't eaten the sandwich yet. And then we went to Vibrant Market and I got a bunch of wellness goodies. Oh, I don't have time to share. Okay, if y'all wanna see the haul, just stay until I get home, continue watching, and I will do my little wellness goodies haul of what I got from Vibrant Market. I love that store so much in New Orleans. I'm home. <laughs> I It's the next day. Wow, I look like such a little <laughs> bum. Okay, let me fix my hair. Not that it's gonna look that much better, but I'm home. It's the next day. I was so tired last night, I couldn't film. I felt gross. I kind of feel gross now too, but it's okay. But Kendra's coming over and she and I are gonna hang out, so I'm kind of trying to straighten up before she gets here, but I wanted to share my Vibrant Market haul with you guys 
because I'm actually super, super, super excited about this haul. Here's the bag. I am so excited about the products that I got that I already opened them and started using them, but I'm still gonna show you guys what I got. So I need to focus back on getting my gut health straight because everything goes back to the gut. It all begins in the gut, it goes back to the gut when it comes to your health and well-being. So we're getting back into gut health. When I was at Vibrant Market, I was talking to the girls who work there. They're amazing, they're like a wealth of knowledge. Literally, if you just go into Vibrant Market, if you're ever in New Orleans, and just talk to them about like skincare problems or like what you're looking for in supplements. I love how I can just pick something up in the store and they're like, oh yeah, that's for this and this and this, this and this and this. I started taking it and I noticed this big difference and this change in my health and, XYZ, so I highly recommend going there and talking to them. But into the haul, I'll stop rambling. The two first things that I saw, so I'm sure some of you guys have heard of this. I'm sure some of you haven't, but this is seawater supplements. I've been seeing seawater supplements more and more lately on Instagram, and I've been curious about it because I know it's really important for us to get our minerals, and like a sufficient amount of electrolytes. Of course I picked it up and I asked them about it and this girl, she sold me. She is good at what she does because she sold me. She was like, I started taking sea minerals. Um, it's like sea plasma. She said about a month ago, or she said, I don't remember what she said, but she was like, it's completely changed my life. She said, it has changed my hydration game so much. She was talking about how it's been giving her more energy, how it's been helping her skin. And so I was like, you know what, cool, I'm just gonna try it. So I grabbed a couple packets, the single packets, and then when I got on the plane, I started reading about it and Googling it and reading studies. It is actually like a miracle product. The way it helps your body hold on to hydration, which is what I so desperately need, because working on an airplane, hydration is always being sucked out of my body. It's supposed to help with that, helps with energy, helps with mental focus, like clarity. I'm pumped about that, not just for like the energy and mental clarity, but kind of for vanity reasons too, like keeping my skin moisture, like hydrated and plump. So I got those. I just got another, um, my camera hasn't been focusing lately. It's driving me crazy. I got another little like tube of my dim supplement. It's in a pump form. When I wake up, I just do one, two, three pumps, hold it for 30 seconds and then swallow it. Um, I take this for estrogen balance. Love that. These are both by the same company, by the way. They're from Quicksilver Labs, which is a supplement company that I really trust. Quicksilver Labs and Symbiotica are like amazing when it comes to supplements. So then something else I've been hearing people talk about a ton lately is the Just Thrive probiotics. Now, I have a lot of people ask me what probiotics I take. I haven't taken probiotics in about two years. And part of that is because I was really trying to fix my gut because I used to have a bad candida overgrowth issue. I've started seeing like the hints of that coming back, which is part of it was the hair loss because you can lose hair from having a candida overgrowth. And then there's like other things that I won't talk about of reasons you can tell if you have a candida overgrowth. Anyway, that's why I cut it out. But like I said, I'm trying to get back on my gut health. It hasn't been anywhere near as bad as it used to be with the candida situation. So candida, candida. I've heard people say it both ways, whatever. I've been hearing great things about the Just Thrive probiotic, so I'm gonna try it out. I took my first one today. I'll let you guys know how I like it as I'm taking it, and once I'm finished with my first bottle, I have a feeling I'm gonna like it. I was talking to the girl about it, and she said this is the one that she takes, because they had other probiotics, but she said this is the one that she was like, no, this is amazing. And then she was like, if you're really looking into fixing your gut, I really recommend checking out this. I've never heard of this company but I was super interested in it when she was explaining to me how it's been helping her with skin rashes, um, and she listed a whole bunch of other things, but the skin thing was what stuck out to me. So this is called Ion Gut Support, Immune Function, Digestion, digestion Mental Clarity, Metabolism, and Mood. All natural and soil-derived Ion Gut Support is a supplement in name only seeking not to add but to connect. Our innovative blend, Terra Hydrate, gets to the root of health by defending you from harmful toxins, supporting cell-to-cell -cell communication, 
Stronger communication leads to a stronger gut, leads to a stronger you. Ion starts at the foundation of the microbiome health of microbiome health and lets your body innate strength take care of the rest. Very, very, very interesting. I'm excited to take it. Uh, you can take it like three times a day by spoon. I've taken it once today, so I'll take some more. Um, and then the last two things she gave me were some samples. She gave me the, it's called L-I-N-N-E, it's all wiped off, repair face oil. Lin, line, lean, I don't know. I put it on last night and I really liked it. I'm a little puffy today from flying so much and eating everything in New Orleans. Oh, but this stuff. So this is the this is the Josh Rosenbrook Vital Balm. I, I would show you, but it's blurry. I don't know why I'm trying to show you because these are just samples. But it's like this, this really pretty, really creamy, kind of thick blue texture. I feel like I've tried a sample of this before when I was there a couple years ago and was like, yeah, I have to have that. I asked her for a sample of it again, and she was like happy to give it to me. So I'm excited to try it. I'm obsessed with my Ursa Major uh, Golden Hour Recovery Cream, but I'm always down to switch it up and try something new. But anyway, that's what I got. Y'all, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog. I love you guys. My name is Vera, for those of you who are new here. Follow me on Instagram. I've been sharing more wellness stuff on there at Balanced Flyer, just like my YouTube channel name. Hit subscribe if you love the mix of wellness and travel and a little bit of flight attendant content. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and please let me know in the comments like if you've heard of any of these supplements or what you do to keep your gut health in check. Anyway, love you guys. See you in my next video.